A Dallas man is showing his daughters that anything is possible. The husband and father of five overcame a language barrier and worked full time while attending college. Today, they celebrate his success, a dream come true, and Fox Wars' Alex Boyer has his story. If you're MC2, you're coming out this line first. Among this crowd of soon-to-be UT Dallas graduates stands a proud Jean Chinda. At 48 years old, he's more than twice the average age here. But today, Jean says he feels as giddy as a schoolboy. What's it like standing in line right now? <laughs> uh, <laughs> I think it's uh, like a, a new page on my life open uh, right now. This college graduation is the cap of an impressive journey filled with lots of hard work and sacrifice. Jean moved his family from Cameroon to Texas five years ago. The French native didn't know any English when he first enrolled in college. After four years of working night shifts full time while going to school during the day full time. Jean Claude Tichinda. Jean has earned a bachelor's degree in electrical engineering. His wife, daughters, and extended family all there to celebrate him. Well, after long hours of working, he finally made it. I'm really proud of him. Yeah, you have to start in the beginning to learn English before to be able to do everything. So it's not easy for him. I'm so, so happy for him. He did a good job. One important person missing from this moment is Jean's oldest daughter, Andrea. She has a good reason. She's taking a final exam at Harvard, where she just finished her first semester. I interviewed Andrea back in May when she was graduating from Hillcrest High School as valedictorian. Andrea FaceTimed her dad after the ceremony. I was running to log into my phone, and I just saw him walking, and I was like, I just screamed in my dorm, and like, I was just so happy. Hard work and ambition clearly run in the family. I'm feeling so happy. I'm super proud of my dad. I'm super, super proud. I am so happy. So, so happy. Uh, it was difficult, but today, I'm done. So, Andrew is boarding a flight from Boston later this afternoon. She'll head down here to Dallas and spend the holiday season with her family. Lots to celebrate. Reporting at UT Dallas, Alex Boyer, Fox 4 News.